Retinol is the golden child of skincare products, but could something that comes from nature be just as effective and less irritating? Dr. Batra, what could this mystery product be? So, any guesses? Aloe. Well, close. Close, Aloe. also a plant-based product, but any let's do the reveal. So this is a newer ingredient, it's called bakushiol, and it's actually derived from the seeds and leaves of a plant called Cerealia corallifolia. So I expect you all to remember that. And what it is, is it's a phenol, it's a plant-based derivative that works very much like retinols. And there's some incredible science to back this up. So even though structurally it's quite different, Functionally, it acts on the same receptors as retinols. We know that it stimulates collagen, it helps with lines and wrinkles and hyperpigmentation. It kind of helps stimulate that same cell turnover that dermatologists always rave about with retinol. But the difference is it's much less irritating. So you don't necessarily get the peeling and the dryness and the, the redness, redness that you get from retinol. And so there was just a really good study in the British Journal of Dermatology where they actually did a randomized controlled trial and compared them both, found similar outcomes in terms of anti-aging, but much less irritation with the bakushiol. So I think retinol has been the holy grail in dermatology right. and plastic surgery for decades. But the problem is there is a limiting factor in terms of people being able to tolerate it. I can only tolerate can retinol once a counter? week. So the other beauty is this is all over the counter. So all of these are over the counter products where this is the active ingredient. How do you pronounce it again? Bakushiol. 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 <laughs> you, I learn something every day on this show. <laughs>